heat, water or electricity for weeks, and temperatures there are dropping. President Biden has declared a state of emergency in Kentucky and is expected to arrive Wednesday to survey the damage. CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Nora O'Donnell reports from Mayfield. Tonight, no one here is giving up hope as canine search and rescue teams continue looking for survivors. This once-in-a-century twister tore through the heart of America. More than 1,000 homes across 18 Kentucky counties reduced to rubble. It's just uh, upsetting, you know, to know that that's the town that you grew up in and everything, you know, his memories is all gone. This western town of Mayfield, Kentucky, population 10,000, is the worst of the tornado's war zone. More than 30 twisters ripped through six states on Friday night, from Arkansas all the way up to Illinois. And the death toll is climbing. Today, we learned in Kentucky alone, at least 74 are confirmed dead. Of the ones that we know, the age, the age range is five months to 86 years, and six are younger than 18. With more than 100 still missing, we met paramedic Bob Wagner and his bloodhound named Ken's. The dog can make a lap around the property generally, and, and we know if somebody's in there or not. So the dog makes this work so much quicker and so much more efficient. As we toured this devastated neighborhood, a radio call came. Where? At a home where a cadaver dog hit a scent. They're forcing entry. The dog's hitting. It was a false alert. Heart-stopping moments everywhere. We had to climb through all this to get out. We went in a little small closet right there. Karima and Robert Bright say hiding in the only closet in their home with their seven-year-old grandson saved them. I was laying on top of my grandbaby and there on the floor and he was on top of me holding the door and the roof just flew right past. What have you lost? Everything but our lives. But there's no shortage of heartache. As Karima told us, her family is mourning a child lost. I have a niece. She lives on the next block. She lost her son four, three or four years old. 75 miles northeast of here, parts of Dawson Springs, Kentucky, are decimated. Tonight, we are learning about the youngest known victim, two-month-old Oakland Coon, who was hospitalized after the tornado flung her into a neighbor's yard while strapped into the car seat her parents thought would keep her safe. She died of her injuries. She was a beautiful little girl, and she would have grown up to be awesome. But tonight, gifts of kindness from America are pouring in. More than $6 million sent to a Kentucky relief fund. We uh, were also seeing destruction met with a lot of compassion, I'm told. Everywhere they've gone, they had people volunteering, talking, asking for that they not only get help, but how they could give some help. And uh, so we continue to pray for everyone. We also learned today the sad news that seven children were killed in Warren County. That's not far from here, including two infants and a four-year-old. Elaine? Nora O'Donnell, thank you. At least eight people were killed when a tornado ripped through a candle factory in Mayfield, Kentucky. David Begno spoke with some of the survivors. Elaine, good evening. I just spoke with the CEO of the candle factory here in Mayfield, and he told me that they have now located and can account 